Hello and welcome to another tutorial and today we are looking at cropping images on the fly during upload. Alright, so a few of you requested for this video, so here goes. So to start with, as you can see, there's a simple website here with uh, four browse buttons and there are four of them so we can upload four images at once and see them cropped on the fly. So let me browse for a few images. I'll get this one here, a second one another image and finally uh, maybe that one so let's hit the upload button and this is what you see as the result so pretty awesome so let's see how to create this from scratch so I'm assuming that you already know the basics of PHP and you have your ZAMP and Apache running whether you're using ZAMP WAMP or MAMP uh, it doesn't really matter as long as Apache is running on your system then we can get down to business so you can use any text editor mine is uh, sublime text i just downloaded a copy of uh, sublime text not even registered yet but it'll do for now all right so let's get started with our index.php page so let me create a new file let me hit new file okay let's save this file before we even begin we go to our uh, ww folder or HD docs, depending on what system you're using and create a new folder Let's name this folder crop and that's where we'll be saving our files. So the first file is index.php. Make sure you save it as all files and hit that save button. Okay, so what we're doing here practically is HTML. So let's begin our HTML tags like that. Sublime text is nice enough to put all this uh, stuff in there in advance so I can save. Uh, let's write a title crop images. Now uh, maybe multiple images. All right, that's what we need for now. Okay, so let's create in the body tag here, let's create a form because we need, we need a form so we can post our data. All right, so I'm just gonna copy a few uh, parameters in here to save time. Okay, and paste right there. All right, so here we have text saying browse for images and click upload with a break tag. And then we have one input of type file and is named image one. So this line is repeated over and over. And the only thing we change is the name to image one, image two, image three, and so on. And then we've got one last input of type submit with a value of upload. This is the text that shows up in the browser. So let's see how we can, uh, how this appears in our browser. So let me go to the actual folder. Uh, let me go back here to the crop folder and let me drag the index page to our browser. All right, now we have to remember to remove this part and replace it with localhost so that we can activate our PHP. All right, so there we have it. So everything is set up here, but we don't have, if I hit here, I can actually go to the browse page. So what we need now is some CSS to make it look a little bit nicer. So to start with, I'm going to get a background image from my previous uh, sample website I'd created. So I'll paste it here. And this is the background image, if you can see it, uh, cartoon landscape, all right. So on top of that, we need to go back here and create our CSS our styles, so all this looks good. So let me just copy these styles that I already have and paste them right in the, just after the head tag right there. Let me just paste the styles. Okay, so this first style is uh, targeting the body of this website. So the font family, that's the font family, uh, background image. So I'm referencing that same image I just copied, which is bg.jpg. If you look at the name of the file, it's bg.jpg, okay? Background size 100% because I want the background to fill up the entire space. Secondly, I'm targeting the form, which is uh, what contains uh, these buttons, okay? So that's the color of the text. That's the background color, okay? Which has got a bit of transparency because I'm using RGBA. And so 0, 0, 0 represents black, and this is 0 0.5 represents transparency. So this uh, form is going, to, the background color is going to be 50% uh, transparent, 
width 100% and I put a max width so that it doesn't grow above 800 pixels. Margin auto, this is the part that centers it and then I add a small padding to put space between the text inside the container and the form itself. And those are the only styles we need for now. So let's see how the website has changed when I refresh. And there you go, it's looking more like the website that we're aiming for. All right, so now that all this is out of the way, let's see how we can uh, upload images now. So first of all, in order to be able to upload images, go to your form. Let me just uh, increase the font size here or the text so you can see a little bit better. All right. So right here in uh, form, uh, what we want to do is we have to specify the method. Okay. So the method here is post because we're going to use uh, a post request. Okay, then there's another uh, interesting thing called ENC, ENC type. Okay, now this one will, we have to put it at multi part. You have to type it exactly like this multi part form data, like that hyphen data. If you don't put this part, you will not be able to upload images because this is what tells it to uh, upload images. All right, so moving on. If we go back here, we'll see nothing has changed. So now we need to detect when a post request has been uh, done. So we go right at the top of the uh, index page and we create our PHP tags. Okay, then let's close them right there. All right, so here the first thing we have to do is detect when somebody posts something. So in order to do that, we request the server to tell us. So let's do that. I'll post this line here. So this line is, let me put the closing bracket there so I don't forget. So we are requesting, we're asking if the server request method is equal to post. Okay, so if this is true, then something was posted. So let's test it out. Let's put an echo in here and just say, uh, let's say posted instead. So I show you. So let's go to our site. If I refresh the site now, nothing happens. But if I hit the upload button, you see posted. So this is how we detect when something has been posted. All right, so let's put some actual code in there. So to start with first, we have to create a, um, a loop, okay, to loop through all the files because now we're going to be uploading four files at once. A user can upload one file or, or more so we have to be able to detect that. So let's create a loop. So this is the for each loop. Now this for each loop targets the files uh, variable. So this is a variable created by PHP. The moment you add this part on the form, it creates this variable, which will contain all the files that you upload, okay? So if you've got uh, text text inputs here, they're not going to be found in these files. They're going to be in the post variable. But if you've got images and media, other media, they will be in this files variable. So files as file array. So what we are doing now for each file that has been uploaded here, we are assigning its, its values to the file array. This comes as an array, so that's why I'm naming it file array. So you can write anything here as long as that's the reference you're going to be using. So let's keep uh, moving on. So the next thing though is to check if there's actually a file there, okay? So let's put an if statement again. So if is set file name, like that. So this is a file array that contains, uh, th this file array contains all the files. This one contains one file at a time as it is going through the loop. So we have to make sure that the name exists of this file and the name is not empty, okay? So once we have done that, we create two arrays now. Now these arrays are going to be responsible for us knowing what is allowed to be uploaded because somebody could upload a movie, for example, and this is not what you want. What you're looking for is an image. So you have to tell PHP what you want. So I've created an array here called allowed 
uh, extensions. This is short for allowed extensions. So it's equal to an array. In this array, I add JPEG and JPEG again, because certain JPEGs have uh, their file extension capitalized. So you have to be able to cater for those as well. So some have this and so on. So there's PNG as well, GIF or GIF. Uh, and then the type of files that we're going to be allowing are image JPEG, also that, uh, because there are two versions of this, and then image PN PNG and image GIF or GIF, okay? So these two are arrays that we can tell PHP to compare and say, whatever is found in here is allowed. So this is called uh, whitelisting, anything in here is allowed. Okay, so let's go next level and get our file extension. So now we are editing one file at a time through this loop. So we've gone through the loop, we are going through the loop the first time. So here we want to get the file extension to make sure that the file we are uploading is indeed a JPEG. Okay, so to start with, to get the extension from the file name, we explode the entire file name. So we are using this uh, explode function. This dot here represents what we are going to be exploding in here because a file name will be like, for example, file name dot, uh, file name, sorry, dot JPG, like that. And here we are going to have other things like uh, folder and so on. This entire thing is going to be the file name. So when we say explode with a dot, we are creating an array wherever there's a dot, that's a new uh, array being created, a new value being tossed into an array, which is this array. So now we get, we want the very last dot and this last item, okay? So we're going to say extension is equal to end of extension. So this extension now contains this value, okay? And then just to be sure, we change it to a lower string. In case it was capitalized, we change it to, we use this uh, function called string to lower, and then we make sure it's lowercase, okay? So this is a comment in here. It's very important to comment out the work that you do so that next time you come back, you can remember what all this stuff means. All right, so in the next one, we are going to confirm, in the next line, we're going to confirm that this file actually adheres to the stuff in these two arrays. So we write an if statement again. So if in array, this is the uh, function that we use to check if, an, if a value is inside an array. So we are checking inside this array, allowed type. So we want to check that the file array type is contained in here. Usually the type that you receive, if the file is a JPEG, it will look like this image slash JPEG, okay? Also, we want to check that inside this array, this extension we've just created actually is allowed in there. If this is true, we move on. Okay, so now we have to confirm that there are no errors that, are, that have happened during this upload, okay? So if, because if an error occurs, it is stored in this uh, array location, which is called error. So we'll check if file array, if this, this number is greater than zero, then there's an error of some kind. Okay, so we'll put an else, if no error has occurred, we'll do something here. If there's an error, we'll do something there. So if there's an error, we're just going to echo something for now, okay? So if there's an error, we'll echo and say there was an error with your file, and then we attach, we append with this dot, we attach the name of the file, because you're going to be uploading multiple files, you have to know which file had an error. And then I put a semicolon here, concatenate this uh, semicolon, and then I put the error in there. So this is going to be a number that will represent the error that has just occurred. If everything is good, we are going to be here, okay? So from there, what we do next is let's get our file title, okay? So we're going to use the same title that came with the file. So we're going to say file title is equal to file array because we're checking inside this file array for the name. Okay, so we get that exact name. Okay, and then now we're going to create a folder because I don't want to save these images right where the index page is. So let's create a folder. So 
this folder is going to be called media directory okay so now the file name this is the destination of this file is going to be equal to the directory where we'll be putting these files together with the file title which we got from the actual file name we are uploading so let's uh, create a function or let's create let's make sure this media directory is actually created before we get to this point so what we do is we have to go to the top of the page right at the top here before uh, whether there is a post uh, happening or not we need to create this folder so we're going to do that at the top here so in order to do that uh, let me just copy some uh, text here all right so if the media folder doesn't exist let's create it so we're going to say media directory is equal to uploads with a slash there so this is where all the files will go so we check if file exists so if we put an exclamation mark at the beginning it means if not file exists this folder right there we're going to make a directory using this function mkdir so since we've already uh, established what this directory is we just put that uh, variable in here and these two uh, parameters here are important this one is for access level if you don't put this you won't be able to write to that folder so just type this as it is and we've created our directory so by the time we get here our directory already exists all right so moving on so after checking if the directory exists we move the actual file so the uh, function that actually uploads the file is this one upload the file which is move uploaded file this is the function that actually uploads the file so we are moving it from the temp name to this file name we've created here and that's how you upload files as simple as that now what actually happens is when you hit the upload button all the files are moved onto your server before any of this process actually starts so uh, php knows where those files are because it keeps a link to those files in this temp name so file array temp name and then we move it from here from the temporary uh, folder to the file name that we have just created okay so there's no cropping and resizing here yet we've just managed to upload a file so we can test this out and see how it works but before we do that we need to be able to actually see the files that are going to be uploaded okay because if i go now you see nothing actually has changed here if i refresh but we need to be able to see the files down here once they are uploaded okay so in order to do that let's go down here just below the uh, horizontal rule let's uh, put some php here php tags all right so uh down under here we'll put something a files array let's create a files array no uh, let me do that let me paste that all right so this files array will contain all the files now i want it to read i want php to read from the directory that i just created this media directory using the function globe so what this function does it, it reads all the files and assigns them to an array so this part here the asterisk I, I hope i'm pronouncing that correctly uh, you can put all the file types that you want in case you don't want to get to just get all files in there if you just want to get all files just omit this whole part here don't put that there and all files will be collected but what we want is jpegs uh, pngs and gifs only uh, globe brace is a um, or I'm not going to go into that just make sure this globe brace is there as well it's necessary for our purposes here so we are gathering all files and putting them in a files array so let's go through each file and then display it that's what we do next so display the files we use our for each loop okay so there we go display files one by one so we say for each files array which is this one assign each value to file so when you assign this value to file then display that file here okay so this is how you display an image the source is file 
and we add a little bit of styling so they look nice. Uh, we limit the width to 185 pixels and a margin of 6 pixels. So let's test what we have so far. Okay, so let me go back here and click on browse. Let me load that image. Let me load the second one, third, and fourth, and hit the upload button. And what do you know? The files have been uploaded. But they are so random, they don't look very good because they're not resized or cropped or anything like that. So that's what we're going to do next to learn how to crop or resize these images.